Hello, this is John Hosick, and I'm coming today to you to share something fun, which I learned 12-ish um, or so years ago. Um, I've been in education for quite a few years. We always like to say about 20 or 30 years, but anyway, um, it's one of those things that education is extremely important to us as a floral industry. Uh, and being able to teach and to share our knowledge, I think, is where we get all of our fundamentals and everything is so, is so much fun. So today I'm going to talk about metalino. Um, Metalino is actually a fiber and it's a great product um, that I think a lot of times we don't know what to do with it. Um, but I'm going to do a Metalino spiral today. And as I mentioned, when I've been teaching in the past, people are like, do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have anything that we can you can show us? And I'm like, you know what, I don't, but I'm going to do it now. So you're going to get the, the down and dirty. Um, I love this version because uh, about 12-ish years ago, as I mentioned, Allison Bradley from Fusion Magazine, I was doing a photo shoot and she showed me this technique and it's an amazing technique. So when you're working with metalino or any kind of a dried product, um, I like to wet it first. So think of a bucket of water sitting here. I'm gonna put it in the bucket of water, dip it down into and just get it wet, let it get nice and wet, shake off some of the excess water. That's gonna soak into the fiber and allow that fiber to be a little more pliable. Um, when you're working with it, if it's soaking, if, it, if you let it set and soak water, it gets mushy and it, it loses its integrity as a product. But with this technique, what we're going to do is we're just going to justify these all on a little table right here. So they're just all basically in justified. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one binding point and I'm going to do a band. So all my metalino are in one, one spot and there's going to, I'm going to show you several different versions. I'm going to do some different metalino techniques um, in some of my YouTube channel videos. So please stay tuned for some of these, it'll be kind of fun. But this is the basic on getting started. So what I'm also using um, is, which I probably should have showed you first, is um, some metallic jewelry wire from Oasis. And this is the metallic wire, which I like this. You can use the bullion wire, but the metallic is stronger. And so that way I think it gives a little more bang for the buck and gives you a little more sparkle on the metalino also. Um, I'm just going to let it toss on the ground because if not, if I keep it on the table, it has a tendency to be in my tools and wrap around around my um, table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a binding point. So this metalino is damp. So it's going to be a little bit softer to allow me to be able to bind this around there. So I'm going to do, I'm binding, but I'm creating a band, um, a great little technique to keep those all together. And I'm going to twist this just to make sure it stays nice and tight. Give it a couple twists and just twist a little bit further. So that's really not gonna go anywhere. So we see that we have our binding point with our metalino, and we're gonna have our metallic wire coming off to the sides. So um, those of you that know me know that I, I like um, making up some words. So you're gonna learn a new word today, so it's a, it's a fun word. Um, but when we're working with the metalino, what's gonna happen is we have many pieces and parts to the bundle, and this is probably about a quarter of a bundle, if that. Um, I'm going to suggest taking two pieces of metalino at a time. If you do one, if one breaks, it loses the integrity of the spoke. So I've got my binding point there. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to just manipulate this, twisting this around, these first two pieces of metalino. And What's nice about it also, with it being damp, it's going to let me be a little more pliable and not really worried about it breaking. So think on this first one, do one hand, two hand. You can make these any size, but this will kind of keep it consistent. So now I'm going to talk to you about my new technique. Um, it's not in any term, term, terminology book by any means, but it's a fun technique. It's called scooching. Um, so these that are straight, the bundle stays straight, and the one that you just wrapped the wire around scooches to them. So that's my scooch. So if these always stay straight, that scooches. So that one scooching point. So I'm going to bind these. And it's just doing a simple wrapping. And I'm probably going about a half an inch. So those of us that are right and left brain, we know that we want to go one, two, three, four, five. Nope. It's just do a nice little fun little band. And I do one hand's width of a band per spoke. So now you, you see that we have the straight pieces and the pieces that are starting to turn to the spoke. I'm going to grab two more, and they're, those stay straight in my hand. This piece scooches to there. So I'm going to keep these very symmetrical. 
and just do this fun little binding which makes it real easy and you can see having this extra little bit of space on the floor makes it good for the little wire to be able to bounce around so again the ones in my hands stay straight the ones that are starting to bend scooch and you can already see the spokes starting to happen and you can make great little boutonnieres you can make centerpieces this is the start of the angel's wings you can kind of see the angel wings starting there but for today we're just going to talk about the basic metalino spiral so again the ones in my hand stay straight this one scooches into there and you can see how quickly and easily you can really make this go pretty fast um, it's always fun to play around with the metalino because when you start working with it being a natural product i mean you could see so many different variables i mean adding some beaded wire into this would be absolutely beautiful um, bringing some different kind of um, metallics or even some beads would really make it be beautiful so if you notice i'm doing these same widths all the way around so it's giving me this beautiful uniform spiral so if i wanted to change the way that spiral felt I could so the ones that stay in the center always stay straight this scooches so if i scooch it in really tight you can see i get a really big spoke so you can really change the rhythm of how these spokes play back and forth rhythmically so but i'm going to keep these very similar because i want this to be a beautiful just open uh full armature that we could drop a couple flowers into if we wanted to or a lot of times um, a lot of our clients like to just come and get some of the structures um, we've got several garden clubbers that like to come over and so just well, a lot of people from our um, around the area customers that just like to cut flowers out of their garden so we do a lot of structures and a lot of things of this nature to give us some beautiful forms um, to be able to set flowers into and you can just see how quickly and easily this really starts taking shape and you got to watch um, when the wire is once have a tendency to get a little bit tangled on the bottom side and again these stay straight this one scooches and i'm trying to as i go along there's different little pieces that they go through here i'm making sure that my bindings are probably i would say about a quarter inch to a half an inch they do not have to be perfectly symmetrical um, you just want to try to start covering up the little ends as we do this you're going to see that there are some little ends that start end up happening where some of the pieces are shorter and what I end up doing is covering those as the spoking goes around. So again, one hand's width gives me my perfect spiral. And again, center one stays straight, this one scooches in. And I can probably say, if you can stop thinking about it, is that like that's a little bit tighter than I want it to be, so I'm just gonna pull it back just a little bit. If you stop thinking about it and just thinking, okay, those, those stay straight, these go this direction, those scooch um, it really does go together pretty fast and pretty easily um, and you can do all sorts of fun little different things by adding more and more pieces and as I'd mentioned before I'm doing two pieces at a time you can see if I would have taken one spoke and one of those would happen to break it would really lose how the beauty of this beautiful symmetry is starting to flow through if one of those break and if one breaks it still doesn't lose the integrity because we still have one there to support it so you can still if one of those break it's not a huge big deal but it really does make a difference on the whole beauty of the design um, the other thing when i'm working with the metalino a lot of times even if i've done one of these spirals like this i like to wet it each time i decide to manipulate it or move it or reuse it i will wet the whole thing down i'll take it to the sink Put a little water on it and it allows me to be able to make all these pieces be a little more pliable um, and there again working with a natural product that's the best way this happens see how beautiful that's become this nautical shell just absolutely gorgeous as those rhythms start to play back and forth we're about almost halfway there hopefully this is not like watching watching paint dry you get to see the form come together really pretty quickly and i mean it really takes little to no time once you start doing these um, to make a couple of them and during some of these slower times that we have I mean this is a great opportunity to be able to create a couple of these spirals and have them in our, our stock in the back room so if we have that special client and customer coming in that we want to really do something creative and just give them the old wow factor because we love the wow factor 
this does give us that option to be able to do that. So I'm getting really pretty close here to my last couple um, pieces. And when you're doing this, one other thing I would suggest is when you're bringing the, the two pieces that are straight each time, pull them as close to the center where you're bringing from each time the spoke comes in, just grab two of them as close to that center spoke as you can. And it really is not imperative by any means, but it just allows it to have a little more of a smooth feeling when you're, especially when you're placing flowers um, and uh, different elements into it. So, and don't worry about if you have a couple of these, like it, we can't tell yet if I'm going to have an exact even amount or I may end up with one extra one, um, but I'm getting pretty close here to be able to see that. We can see, oh, I got it perfect. Yay, love that. Um, so these are the second to last two. And if you've noticed, I'm allowing my spiral to come out a little bit further, just allowing it to recede out. And there again, you could bring these in tighter to make it be whatever kind of a direction you'd like for it to be. These last two spokes, I'm bringing those in. And now it's gonna be kind of our finishing part. So if I really wanted to, I could keep adding pieces of metalino into the spiral. So I could add another piece in and another piece in and another piece. But for this instance, I'm just going to finish this off. And you can see your hands just start working together and having a, a good time. And it really can be very, very fast. This one was a little more elaborate, but for the most part, they can be really pretty fast. I'm just going to snip that little piece off. And you can see how beautiful the metalino spiral becomes quickly and easily. So, I mean, what's great now is you can do some twisting. You can you know, make it be a nautical, make it be a conical. Whatever your design creativity is looking for, it really can be that. I mean, a lot of times I like to um, leave this to be long so I can keep extending it around the bouquet. Um, other things you can do, I've seen people do before, is adding some of the aluminum wire actually into that spine, which allows you to be able to manipulate it a little bit more. But I love just a simple technique. You can see how great the metalino looks as a spiral. Fun, easy, and I want to thank you for tuning in, and my name was John Hosick.